Welcome to the week in sneaks. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and it's been an extra busy week when it comes to sneakers. So let's start things off with LeBron. When it comes to King James, the week started off with an official look at the forging iron colorway of the LeBron 11, which is set to drop in November for $200. But soon after, the Christmas LeBron 11 popped up with all the green upper and red accents. Notice the snowflake detailing on the Hyperfuse. Shout out to Nike Basketball. No release date on those yet, though I imagine it's right around Christmas. Later in the week, Nike ID got into the LeBron game with this 2003 draft mock-up of the LeBron 11, which reminds me a little bit of the Fire Red 5s, as well as this 2004 Rookie of the Year draft day colorway of the sneaker. Now, both of those versions will cost you $250, but you can make them yourself over on Nike ID. Now, summer is gone, but that doesn't mean that you stop running and a few nice runners hit the web this week. The A6 Jail Cayano 20th Anniversary Pack hit midweek and actually released as well at select locations like Packer Shoes. The Kiano, for those that don't know, is a real running shoe and it's nice for ASICs to give it a nice lifestyle touch. Nice packaging on this one as well. Hannon gave the Colorado 85 a nice touch up with a sequel of sorts to their 2011 collab on the Jail Light 3. I really like how the white outsole pops against the red and orange premium suede upper. You can look for these to drop on November 2nd. Finally, Sneaker Politics is on point with Adidas Originals and now has the ZX700 in a wheat colorway. Needless to say that these are really clean and will work perfectly for the fall weather. These are actually available now at Sneaker Politics. Switching things back to basketball, Adidas Hoops is giving us a new, well a few new looks at the D-Rose 4. Called the Boardwalk, the shoe is inspired by Southern California where Derrick Rose spends his summer's training. The shoe features washed out pastel tones of mint green, tan, and pink to represent the ocean, sand, and architectural details found throughout Southern California. You can look for these to drop for $140. Now for those that like to give their shoes a bit of originality, the D-Rose 4 was also released on the My Adidas site. There are quite a few color options on these, though the quarter panel options are a little limited. The best part, in my opinion, is the price. The D-Rose 4 is available on My Adidas for $165. The D-Rose 4 is available on My Adidas for $165. That's just a $25 markup from the GR releases. Last weekend, I took a visit to the Nike vault. I actually posted a video about it, but I was also able to capture some of Chris Paul's favorite retros. Included in the mix was a Volt Air Jordan 4, the Legends of Summer Air Jordan 1, the Clipper colorway of the Air Jordan 5, and this purple Air Jordan 4 inspired by the CP36 Nitro Pack. And just for a little bit of news for you guys, actually the Air Jordan 5 and the Clipper colorway, Chris Paul didn't even have those until he saw them on Instagram and then he called Jordan and told them that he wanted a pair. So shout out to Chris Paul, crazy little story there. Now make sure you hit the link down in the description. It'll take you to a full post that has all of the shoes that were in the display at the vault. And to round things off for today, Nike announced the Nike Air Max Reflect Collection. The collection includes the Nike Air Max 1, the Air Max 90, the Air Max 95, my favorite, and the Air Max Thea, all of which have been updated with reflective taping and under mesh accents. With the winter approaching, the days are definitely getting shorter and shorter here in the US, and the reflectivity of this pack can make a big difference when you're out in the evenings. The entire Air Max Reflect pack will be hitting select retailers on November 1st. Last week for the question of the video, I wanted to know what were your top five Air Jordans? Well, there were a ton of responses, and here are a few of them. First up, we have Star Trek Crazy Like, who likes the Bread Ones, the Dornbecker Threes, the Toro Bravo Fours, the Turtle Bravo Spizikes, and the Gamma Blue 11s. Next up, we have Brandon Park, who says his number one is the Black Cement 3s. Number two is the He Got Game 13s. Number three is the Great 5s. Number four is the Raptor, Raptor 7s. And number five is the Chicago 1s. And then next, we have the Real Ray Ray 20, because my top five have got to be the 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. The 94 to 98 era was dope for Jordans. Now over at Soul Collector, MJ44 goes with the Air Jordan 4, the Air Jordan 3, the Air Jordan 11, the Air Jordan 12, and the Air Jordan 23. Finally, we have Miami Kings and the Great 179 who says it's the 5 in the black metallic, the 4 in bread, the 13 in flint, the 11 concords, and the 7 in Bordeaux. For this week's question, well, guys, it's not really a question. Well, it is a question that I need you to leave down in the comments is I want you to put somebody in your comments who you think I should follow on Instagram that is not you. 
I don't want to follow you. I guess I could follow you if somebody else recommends you, but I want you to recommend somebody else. So for me, I'm going to recommend that you guys follow Nick Ingvall. Now, Nick Ingvall works over at Complex Magazine. He knows all about sneakers. He posts vintage stuff. He posts new stuff. And he's just a really good guy to follow, really smart guy. So give him a follow. That's Nick Ingvall. For you guys, again, leave me who you want me to follow down in the comments, someone that is not you that you recommend I follow. And of course, I'll follow them over on Instagram. Well, that is going to do it for the show today. There's not going to be a heat check because I've got something coming up in a couple of weeks that I think you guys are going to enjoy. So no heat check today. Uh, and with that being said, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm almost at 10,000, which is really exciting for me. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. As always, I am your host, Jacques Slade. Click down in the description to find out more about all the stories that I talked about today. This is The Weekend Sneaks, and I will see you soon. Peace.